you invited me. Really appreciate. It. Thank you. Yeah, most welcome. It was really nice to have you here and taking out your know, precious time from your very busy schedule. So, um, just to introduce Sumit. Uh, so, Sumit is the uh, current CEO, Global Business Services of Tesco. He's also a board member of Booker and Friend Hypermarket, and he's also uh, been uh, managing director at BT in, in his uh, past uh, position that he's managed. So, Sumit, in in so many senior positions that you've managed, uh, and you know. Uh, you headed lots of people, right, in your career. What do you think would be, um, you know, an advice that you would like to share with the young leaders today? If you can share with us that. Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mujer, for that um, I would start off with saying self-awareness. Self-awareness is the most important tool in an armory of any leader or any future real leader. And it's really important to start thinking about uh, self-awareness. I'll start off with a um, quote from Aristotle many, many years ago, that knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Um, a recent study by Hayes um, across about, roughly about 5,000 managers and senior managers came out that 19% uh, women in senior management or manager position actually were self-aware and only 4% men were actually self-aware. Now, self-awareness sometimes um, is thought of as uh, understanding one's weakness and then work on those weakness and get better. That's not what it is. Self-awareness is about understanding your strengths, your weaknesses, who you are as a person, your values, your drivers. It's the whole all-encompassing view of yourself and how do you put your best foot forward to lead people around you. Very, very interesting, um, uh, Sumit. And um, so, I mean, what would be that, uh, or one tip, or you know, a few tips that you would like to offer to uh, these leaders? What do you think they should do? Yeah, yeah. self awareness um, is is quite an important subject. And uh, as I said, uh, intuitively, it means looking after your, your your weaknesses. That's not the case. So there are a few tips. Firstly, number one, um, you have to be authentic as a leader. So today, if I try and copy, uh, say, Sundar Pichai or, or uh, Steve Jobs or anybody around the world, I won't be an authentic and a true copy of, of, of them. I'll be a very bad copy of those individuals. I am who I am. Uh, it comes from my um, background, my education, my family orientation, my uh, how I've been brought up, uh, the experience that I've had in life, and that makes me who I am. And it's really important to bring that forward and be an authentic, true to yourself as a leader and not be a copy of others. Second one is how do we interact with others? Um, you know, perception and the brand image that you want to give out versus how you um, feel about yourself are two different things. You know, I could sit here and think that, oh, I am brilliant manager of people or brilliant leader of people, but my people who work for me may think I am absolutely useless. So it's really important to manage that perception of what is reality versus what you think who you are. Thirdly, very important to understand your personal values that drives you. Um, is there are things that life which you will never compromise, doesn't matter what, how much money is given to you, how much leadership position you get. Is there a certain values that you will never ever compromise on? And understanding those values is really important. That will help you how you work with your family, friends, but also how you work in corporate environment. The next one is skills and knowledge that you bring in uh, to your job. Uh, somebody once said, uh, the world is for the learner. The learned sit beautifully equipped, deal with a world that no longer exists. So, you know, learning is always on. It's a switched on mode. So always you have to leave your radars open to gain more and more knowledge because, uh, you know, you have to learn the art of listening and learning all the time. And that helps you uh, to be more self-aware and, and work on your weaknesses that you may have. 
And the third one is, and, and, and the fourth one is to appreciate that everybody has weaknesses and you will have weakness and it's okay to have weakness because we spend all our life fixing those weaknesses. But then uh, at a particular level, you will understand that um, you will not be able to kind of cover all those weaknesses. So what you do is you go and hire people uh, around you who can complement you on those weaknesses. And that's what, uh, how you build successful and effective teams. And finally, it's really important. It's a bit philosophical, but uh, you need to understand the purpose of your life. Why do you exist? Uh, I'll give you my example. Um, you know, when I started off, I thought my purpose of my life was buying a fantastic car. My purpose of life was uh, earning loads of money. Purpose of life was getting to the top and, and being a, a, a leader. Uh, these are all consequences. So it's really important to purpose is something bigger than that. Uh, these are all materialistic stuff. So it took me almost 40 years to understand what my purpose of life uh, was. It, and once you understand that purpose, for in my case, it's about anybody who touches me, how do I make their life 5% better? And once you understand that, you can bring that into your everyday leadership style. So the support you give to your peer group, the support you give uh, somebody personally or somebody professionally, uh, it builds in in your culture of how you are as a leader. And finally, underneath this horizontally is your mindfulness is I talk about mental health and managing your physical and mental health because you're no good to anybody if you're struggling both physically and mentally. So how do you uh, prepare yourself? How do you stay yourself, keep yourself fit, both physically and mentally, to be the best that you can be uh, in front of your colleagues and with your colleagues and with your family and everybody around you? Hope that makes sense. Makes all the sense, uh, Sumit. And I think this is so beautifully put. Um, um, uh, you know, the, the steps that you have laid out, uh, right from being an authentic leader, uh, you know, talking about the perception talking about the value system, the skills, the learning, such an important aspect of a leader, the purpose of your life and, and knowing your weaknesses, you know, how do you work on that? And finally, mindfulness. So beautifully put. And uh, I think this would really be like a blueprint for um, the leaders, you know, if they want to really become an authentic and, and a true leader, these would be the, the right blueprint for them. So thank you so much for, for lovely insights here. And I really appreciate your, your time and uh, the values that you have brought in here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sindhu. It's a real pleasure to be here today. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.